What's up guys? So, Mortal Kombat 1 is out now, and uh, I'm super excited to play it. I don't have it yet. I'm uh, currently playing Mortal Kombat 11, and I'm getting ready to put out all my best gameplay for Mortal Kombat 11. Getting ready to show you guys all my secrets, and uh, all the awesome things I did in that game. And uh, yeah, but super excited to uh, get Mortal Kombat 1. Um, right now it's like a super nice day out. It's like five o'clock in the evening. So I decided, you know what, it's such a nice day. I uh, kind of want to come outside and talk about Mortal Kombat 1. So today in this video, we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat, as you can already tell. Uh, but it's also kind of like a vlog style video. Uh, I'm here in my like safari forest type home area here. Super nice. Plenty of oxygen, plenty of plants, right? So um, let's get into it. So. The reason I can't play Mortal Kombat 1 right now is because I don't currently have a PS5. So I'm just, enjoy I'm just enjoying my uh, Mortal Kombat 11 on my PS4 until I do. And I uh, just got a nice new haircut, you know what I'm saying? Got a nice little fade, you know what I'm saying? Check it out. Woo! Got a little edge up. Had to show y'all. Yeah, so to be honest, I don't have a PS5 yet. So uh, right now I'm just enjoying Mortal Kombat 11 as much as I can before I get one. Just uh, doing everything I can, getting every little reward and uh, every little trophy. But yeah, definitely going to be posting all my best MK11 stuff. And uh, I definitely want to talk about how crazy uh, Shao Kahn is looking now in the new uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, it's, it's almost like they went back in the past and uh, they created this Shao Kahn. You know, that's, that's who he was before he officially became Shao Kahn the Emperor. They kind of have like General Zhao now, right? So uh, that's pretty cool. They kind of show like all the early versions of everybody, even though it's like Liu Kang created his own reality and his own universe. It still kind of touches back to uh, the way things were in all the old Mortal Kombat's. And I definitely like that. But yeah, uh, Shao Kahn has these big horns coming out of his head now. Uh, he doesn't have his green uh, sorcerer powers anymore. He kind of just has like these red powers now. Uh, this red energy, this red energy he has is kind of similar to what like Raiko has or what Havoc has. I guess that's like the first stage of that magic. And then you get the green magic maybe afterwards. I don't know what the deal is with that. But yeah, Shao Kahn, uh, in this uh, Mortal Kombat 1, he's cool, but he's definitely more watered down. Like I said, he's like a young version of himself, General Zhao. He hasn't become the all-powerful uh, boss that is uh, Emperor Shao Kahn, right? So uh, that is something I want, a little something I wanted to touch base on, you know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, we're gonna touch base? What's going on? We need to touch base on this, you know? But yeah, you're probably saying like, yo, Chris Sotril, why are you talking about Shao Kahn so much? Shut the hell up. But no, I won't shut the hell up because the reason I'm bringing this up is because look, this is my video, number one. And number two is I like Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn has always been one of my favorite characters. Uh, he's always been the boss monster for a long time, and uh, but yeah, whenever I've got to play with him, whether it was uh, entering a cheat code on the N64, uh, that's the only way you could play with Shao Kahn in the early days. Was uh, I had MK Trilogy for the N64, and uh, you have to enter in this little code to play with him, and that was the only way you could do it. And uh, it was pretty dope. He had his original moves. He had his shoulder charge. He'd throw the axe at you. And then the other one was, uh, hmm, maybe just like he grabs you and shakes you and throws you, something like that, right? But yeah, it was always awesome to use him. Uh, they got him in Mortal Kombat 11 now. And you know what's funny? He's one of my favorite characters, but I still have not bought that DLC. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why right now, just for one more minute, we're going to talk about Shao Kahn, right? All right, so Shao Kahn right now on the PlayStation Plus store is $6 for the DLC, okay? I love Shao Kahn more than the next guy, but I'm not paying $6. That's crazy. Like, I'll wait for that to go on sale, maybe half off, and then I'll pay my $3. But no, come on, $6? Kiss my ass, bro. That's, that's too much for a character. That's insane. You know, uh... I also play Naruto Shinobi Striker all the time, right? And uh, when I buy characters in that game, 
I bought three so far and every time I just wait for them to be on sale. Usually those characters are like $4. And when it goes down to two, that's when I'm buying them, right? So, right, so Shao Kahn is a boss and I love him. And I just wanted to get that out of the way. So let's move on to the next subject, right? Kung Lao. Kung Lao is my second favorite guy. All right, so Kung Lao has always been one of my favorites because uh, there's a lot of different things he can do, a lot of different ways he can slice you with his hat. And uh, the way he can teleport and grab you is uh, definitely really cool. You know, his combos, when he, he spins, knocks you into the air, you can jump up in the air, slice you with the hat. Uh, I'm rambling, I can go on forever about Kung Lao, right? But, uh, but yeah, Kung Lao is definitely my main character in, in MK11. Uh, as you're probably seeing in these little uh, videos next to me here is uh, a lot of Kung Lao gameplay. Uh, I play with him a lot online and uh, every time I get a win, I'm like, oh, wow, look at that. I got a win. Maybe I could be a pro player, you know, but it's like when you start playing with people in the combat league that are just way, way so good. They've been playing for like 10 years, so they really got all the dynamics down, you know. Like, all these little different tech things you wouldn't even think of. Like, uh, you know, how close you should be when you strike a, a certain strike. And th th things you wouldn't even imagine, people that they think of, right? But, um, yeah, I honestly wish I could be a pro player. Uh, it takes so many hours of practice, though. Rick. It would take me getting off work of my eight-hour shift at work, and then I would have to sit down and play maybe like four to five hours every day like like if you were like a martial artist and uh, you do uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu and you want to be really good at it so you got to go to the gym three to four hours every single day right it's like your passion so that's basically what it takes you know people they're at work all day they're thinking about Mortal Kombat all day and then when they get home they play it that's how you become a pro player like straight up but yeah guys check out my t-shirt I'm a billionaire boy, right? So, I'm not a billionaire yet, but they say you gotta dress to be what you wanna be. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't dress for the job you have, dress for the job you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I wanna be a billionaire boy, so that's what I'm doing, shit. Hey, Fluffy. He's a good girl. That's my cat, Fluffy. No, but for real, uh, for real, let's get back to Kung Lao. Uh, I love him because I love to throw that hat. That's number one. But uh, number two is uh, I fell in love kind of like, I don't say I fell in love. That's no homo, right? It's kind of, it's kind of, you know. But uh, <laughs> so I like him for who he is personally, basically, you know, like uh, he's like kind of like known as second best to Liu Kang. He's, uh, he's kind of like the underdog always. Uh, he was sent to his death by Raiden to, to go fight Shao Kahn, but, uh, you know, Raiden didn't do it on purpose, you know, uh, Raiden's a good guy, you know, we should give Raiden more credit, you know, uh, I feel like so many, so throughout MK11, Kung Lao was always like, you sent me to my death, and then Raiden was like, I didn't mean to, you know, like, it wasn't me, he's like, I thought you could do it. You know, I I think I thought he could do it too. Kung Lao's strong. He should have been able to do that, but he just wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Like he just wasn't ready. So uh but yeah, Kung Lao's cool because like I said, he's that underdog and no matter what anybody says, like they're always talking crap in the beginning. Like before you start a fight, they come in and they say something to each other and they're always talking crap to Kung Lao about being second best to Liu Kang. And uh, no matter what they say, he still has that dog in him. You know, like, he don't give up. So, that's what I like about him. Like, he'll whoop your ass no matter what shit you talk. Or at least he'll die trying. So, and he'll leave you with a few cuts from his hat. I kind of feel like, I feel like I look like I'm in the military with this with this cut right here, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, ten hut! At ease. Whew. Shit, motherfucking can be at ease now. You know what I'm talking about? Finna smoke, finna chill. Like, shit, motherfucker at ease now. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking can do whatever he want. But yeah, can we talk about Kung Lao being $6? Or not Kung Lao. Can we talk about Shao Kahn being $6 one more time? Like, like motherfucker not gonna spend $6 on a video game character. Like, if, if I'm gonna spend $6 on anything, it's gonna be food. Like, like motherfucker gotta eat. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like motherfucker gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously, motherfucker gotta eat. Shit. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of FaceTime, you know, just to uh, show you guys the real me. Just to uh, show you guys some real thoughts I have on Mortal Kombat 1. And uh, I'm really thinking about doing more vlogs and uh, more talks like this. So if you like this video, definitely like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think about it, if I should do more, if I shouldn't, if I suck, if I should stop. But uh, I'm definitely considering being a, more of a full-time vlogger and just showing people what I do day to day and just talking to them, just telling them my jokes. But yeah, when it comes to Mortal Kombat, let's get into what I would do if somebody picks a girl character against me online, right? So if somebody picks a girl character against you in Mortal Kombat and you pick a guy, you can get the fuck out of here, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't do guys versus girls. We do girls versus girls and guys versus guys, all right? Keep it kosher, you know what I'm saying? Like, be a gentleman, be right, right? So, if somebody picks a girl, I'm picking Cassie Cage because Cassie Cage is uh, definitely, like, a favorite of mine. When it comes to the girls, I, uh, I've taken time to learn all her combos and her moves are just really cool. Like, I'm a big fan of Cassie Cage and, uh... When I'm not using Kung Lao, I'm using Johnny Cage because he's he's my second favorite. So, you know, you gotta have a main and then you gotta have a second favorite guy. So when you get tired of using your main, you got a second. And uh, Johnny Cage is actually considered one of the best characters you can use in competition and in tournaments. Like he's actually, I don't wanna say number one, but he's at least in the top five. Uh, that's what people use when they win huge tournaments is uh, they use Johnny Cage, but uh. Back to Cassie Cage is a uh, she is she is really awesome. Uh, and now I'm back in my house. All right, guys. So now I'm back in the house. We're just gonna finish up this video by saying thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, definitely stay tuned for more Mortal Kombat talk. Uh, I've got way more things to say about Mortal Kombat. As you can see, I can talk and talk about Mortal Kombat all day. I'm a huge fan. So, de so definitely do me that solid favor, like and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. And hey, listen, y'all don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.